Cindy Morgan is a two-time Grammy nominee, a 14-time Dove Award winner, and she's been honored as Songwriter of the Year. Pretty big deal. She also recently released her debut novel. Yeah, give her a hand. That's a big deal. She just released her debut novel. It's called The Year of Jubilee. And she did something truly unique. She created a soundtrack album for the novel. It's called The Sounds of Jubilee. It is a pleasure to welcome Cindy Morgan. Cindy, great having you here. Thank you. Thank you. You know, most people either write a book or they do a recording. You do both of them, and they're kind of packaged together. That's pretty unique. Well, I think because I've spent so many years writing songs, and um, sometimes people say, what's the difference between writing a song and writing a book? And, and I say, it's somewhere between three minutes and 50 seconds and 350 pages. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I think, you know, just all those years of writing songs, um, I couldn't imagine not having a musical component, you know, to the novel. And uh, so it was a pleasure. Some really great artists and songwriters on the project, heroes of mine, uh, Wayne Kirkpatrick, who's an amazing songwriter, and Tom Douglas, who's the best we have in country music in terms of writing The House That Built Me. And mm. um, so anyway, it was, it was a lot of fun. So you write a novel, it's called Jubilee, the year of the Jubilee, year of Jubilee yeah. but it's a sort of a historically mm -hmm. based novel. Yeah. Does it come from from your own experience in life? And it it's is. How? Yeah, it's a it's semi autobiographical, and so it's based on something that happened in my family. Um, and so the prologue is my first memory in life, and I started working on it more than seventeen years ago, and uh, wrote the prologue, set it down, and then picked it back up and, and worked with an editor for seven years. I said it in 1963 at the height of the Civil Rights Movement, set in Eastern Kentucky, which is where my family are from, from uh, Harlan County, mm. which that is yeah. some serious moonshine country mm -hmm. up there. My grandfather was a moonshiner. And ran shine. Statute of limitations has run out, I, so it's okay. Yeah, well, he it. actually, uh, he, he ran shine from the time he was 13 for the mafia wow. doing prohibition. So, yeah. Hmm. During, you know, sometimes at fam my, my sister and I talk about at family reunions, like how many of our relatives will be out on parole just so they can come to the family reunion. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least they were good enough they could get a parole. I mean, that's... It. Exactly. That's so... Well, so the novel is set in the Civil Rights Movement, 1963. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's really probably going to be one of those that when people read it, they'll say, yeah, many people who are like in this audience will have lived through that era. Yeah. They'll yeah. relate to it. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's a fascinating part of history. I've always been obsessed with that part of history. And, I, and the connection, the town is called Jubilee. But the idea of like what happened during the civil rights movement and that it was a releasing of people from, from this oppression. And so, and of course that happens in a lot of different ways in our lives, both physically and spiritually. And so I'm hoping that um, I was able to tie all those threads together, but um, it's with Tyndale House Publishers. Well, I think wonderful. it's going to be a wonderful book for people to get. Cindy's going to get ready to perform for us, but Keith is going to tell us how to get her new novel, as well as the soundtrack album, both of which you're going to want, especially after you hear Cindy sing. Just go to Huckabee.tv for links to the book and album, along with all of Cindy's music, social media links, and more. Now, performing Tame from the album The Sounds of Jubilee with Trey Corley and the Music City Connection, here's Cindy Morgan! Should know better. Oh, but I won't let that stop me. I like that old foul weather till that tornado is spinning round me. I'm not sure why I do it. Maybe the doctor he can say, Oh, somehow I always make it through it. It's a cowboy and ride away. It's the feeling you can name. It's the feeling you can name. It's the blood pumping through your veins. Nobody wants to take the blame. Take the drum, jag, and chain 
If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you will now. The button is just below this video and there's a little bell next to it. If you click on those, YouTube will reluctantly start letting you know when we've got a new video uploaded.